Hello, dear students. Welcome again. We are going to start our English class. The topic of today is There are some books in my bag. We are going to learn about there is and there are. Let's have a look at some words. Okay. Listen, look and write the food. One. Carrots. Two. Cake. Three. Peppers. Four. Yogurt. Five. Omelette. Six. Chili con carne. Seven. Coffee. Eight. Beans. Nine. Curry. Ten. Salad. Okay, now which is countable or which is uncountable? Let's have a look at the grammar. Countable nouns. Countable nouns are things we can count. We can say, for example, in singular, one banana. In plural, bananas. Okay? And we use how many to make questions. Uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are things we can't count. Uncountable nouns are always using singular. For example, rice, we can say rises. Okay? And we use how much to make questions. Let's have a look at the examples. Example of countable nouns. In singular, you can say an apple. In plural, two apples. A biscuit, three biscuits. An egg, Six eggs, a grape, some grapes. Examples of uncountable nouns. Some bread, some sugar, some harm, some water. Now, the explanation of there is and there are. Okay. We have singular and plural. In singular, positive or affirmative, we can say there is or there's, and in plural, there are. In negative, we can say there isn't, and in plural, there aren't. And to make question in singular, start with is there, and in plural, are there. And in short answer, when it is positive, you can say yes, there is, and in negative, no, there isn't. And in plural, you can say yes, there are, in positive, and no, there aren't, in negative. Okay, to take into account, we use there is and there are to say that something exists or doesn't exist when it is negative. For example, there is a rubber in my pencil case, but there aren't any pencils. We also use there is with singular and uncountable nouns. For example, is there a window near your desk? A window, it is singular. There is water on the table. Water is uncountable now. And also, we use there are with plural countable nouns. For example, are there any pens on the table? Yes, there are. Examples. In affirmative, you can say there is 
a frog. In singular and in plural, there are two frogs. In negative, you can say the reason I a pirate on the island. And in plural, there aren't any teachers in the classrooms. Now to make questions. In singular, you can say, is there a film TV? Is there a man in the room? Is there a bath in the room? Is there a pen on the table? Is there a clock on the wall? In plural, are there? Are there 20 students in the class? Are there any eggs in the fridge? Are there any people in the restaurant? Are there any clouds in the skies? Now we have some activities, okay? The first one is complete the table with words from the box. We have fruit, meat, banana, pasta, onion, apple, rice, sandwich, cheese, sausage, coffee, egg, tea, tomato, vegetable, and water. Which one is countable and which one is uncountable? Here is the example. Countable. There are banana, apple, sandwich, sausage, egg, onion, tomato, and vegetable. And uncountable, you can say fruit, meat, pasta, tea, rice, cheese, coffee, and water. Now, activity number two. Complete the questions with is there or are there, then write answer. For example, are there any shelves in your classroom? Yes, there are. Okay, now you have to complete, fill in the gap and answer, okay? according to the tick or the cross that are in brackets, right? And activity number three, you have to complete the short test using there is or there are. Example, this is my flat, okay? There are two bedrooms and a living room, and a kitchen and a bathroom. So you complete this short test. Only use there is for singular and there are for plural. Activity number four. What do you have to do here? You have to underline the correct option. Here, for example, what is correct? There is or there are? What is correct? Some or any coffee in the cup. Look at this example. There is, which one? Some coffee in the cup. Do the same, so you have to underline with the rest of the sentence, okay? What do you think is correct? Next exercise. You have to unscramble the words and complete the sentences. Here is the words, okay? Number one, you have on the table, sun, milk, and there is. Look at this example. There is sun, milk, on the table. Okay, so you have to unscramble and make sentences, right? Do the same with number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Another activity. In activity number six, there is a conversation. The conversation is between a shop assistant and a customer. 
What do you have to do here? You have to put the replies in the correct order. Here is the shop assistant conversation and here in next column is the customer reply. For example, good morning, can I help you? What do you think it is correct here? Look at this example, number one. Can I have a kilo of apple, please? Okay, this is good morning, can I help you? An answer, and I can. Can I have a kilo of apple, please? What do you think is next? Here you are, anything else? Okay, do here, read carefully and put what is number two. Okay, when you finish doing that, you are going to decide now whether these sentences are true or false. For example, Anna buys apples. What do you think it is, true or false? You have to look here, for example, can I have a kilo of apple, please? Here are the words apples. So the sentence in the first one is true, okay? Now you have to do the same, read the sentence and tell if it is true or false and put a cross. You have number two, three and four, four sentences, okay? Now, next one, the next activity, you have to match the names of containers with the names of food and drinks. Here it is. We have of chocolate, milk, bread, soap, cereal, biscuit, coffee, and honey. And here in this column, a slice, a cup, a jar, a bar, a bowl, a pack, glass, and a box. Okay? Look at this first example. Chocolate, what do you think it's a bar? A bar of chocolate. Okay. Now, the ending as a closing, the activity, the, the last activity, you have to choose one of these cars and speak about one or two minutes. Then you are going to record your speaking and send it through WhatsApp. Okay, don't forget to use the is and the are. Here are the cards you have to choose. You can talk about your city, your room, your fridge, your school bag, your classroom, or your house. Don't forget to use the is and the are. Okay, just speak for about one or two minutes. That's all for today. Thank you very much.